Welcome everybody to today's edition of Goshen Prepping. I love articles. I love going through different lists that people have to stockpile and prep. It's stuff we can learn from. It's not always good stuff, as you'll see in this video, but there's lots of things in here that we can definitely glean from and help us with our stockpile. And the article is called 20 Items to Stockpile to Ensure Your Survival in Tough Times. Perfect. That is why we prep, to survive these tough times. Let's jump into it. Number one, pasta. I like pasta, although I don't eat it. I am on keto, but I'm not saying it doesn't have a good purpose, especially if we're talking about crap hits the fan, because understand it's loaded, loaded with carbs, which means loaded and loaded with energy to help you keep going. Because if you haven't heard, when crap hits the fan, it's going to be kind of difficult. Number two, frozen fruits and veggies. What the heck are they eating here? I'm not against frozen fruits and veggies. Sure, it's a great place to keep it, but crap it's the fan. I hope you have something to be able to power that fridge and freezer. Our grid may go down. And whatever that monstrosity they're showing you, some kind of TV dinner, that's not what we're talking about. But when we see frozen fruits and veggies, they are almost just as good as fresh produce. So yeah, stock up on them if you have the freezer space and able to keep your freezer going. Number three, meat. I love this. Step into the realm of carnivorous delights where meat takes center stage. Oh yeah. But same thing, how are you going to keep that meat? A freezer? That'll work fine as long as you have power. There's other ways too, by the way. I know a lot of people love to can. I mean, we love to can, but it's something you need to practice and get ready for. Now, you can't do it when crap hits the fan, but you have to be able to be able to preserve the meat because of course, just in your fridge or whatever, it will spoil. Dried fruits? Yeah, nice and tasty. Keeps your morale up. Long life candy? Same thing with like pasta. Pasta is candy. It's just complex carbs. The carbs are good for energy to keep you going, keep your kids a little bit quiet too, but really bad on the teeth. When crap hits the fan, you may not have dentistry coming, but having some hard candy is good. Just try to keep it like, you know, dry as possible because it will start to break down. Vinegar and baking soda. Yes, yes, yes. As far as like cleaning goes and taking care of stuff around the house, even like taking care of like corroded battery terminals and stuff, vinegar and baking soda, or use them separately for other things, definitely get lots of it. Dried beans and lentils. This, in my opinion, should be almost number one. Dried beans and lentils, you do have to put a lot of heat in them to prepare them, you know, even if you soak them ahead of time, but they store practically definitely. A nice oxygen absorber in a Mylar bag will be good to go, or food-grade buckets, really, really good stuff. We stockpile lots and lots of those along with rice. Canned tuna, two thumbs up. I would give more if I could. Any canned meat for that matter, because you know earlier we mentioned meat, I waited until now, canned meat's the way to go. I mean, it does get a little expensive pound for pound. That way, if you can can your own, you're even better. But canned meat and like they're saying canned tuna, fantastic. Make sure you have lots of canned tuna, canned salmon, canned roast beef, canned chicken, sardines. That is one of the best foods you can have to stockpile. And in the can, it will remain that way as long as the can's intact indefinitely. Long-lasting fruits and veggies. And I'm probably going to summer show how you can just keep a lot of certain like fruits and veggies, especially certain veggies in your cellar, as long as it's cool, you know, to be able to maintain it that way. And they don't need storage for that. Like any like storage, like refrigerator that is peanut butter. Oh, I love my peanut butter. Again, two thumbs up for peanut butter. Now it will not last indefinitely. It will not. A couple years, a few years, it will eventually go rancid because of the fats in there. But peanut, peanut butter is fantastic. Now I like to get the peanut butter with no sugar added. And there's a lot of monstrosity peanut butters out there that have like a lot of vegetable oil mixed in. I don't eat that kind of stuff. But peanut butter itself is fantastic. Applesauce. Yeah, if you keep an original jar, it'll last forever. White rice. Yep, mentioned this too, along with the beans. You can buy, obviously, ridiculous big bags of white rice and it stores great. Practically nothing you need to store it. We always put it in containers to keep mice and stuff out of it. And that's all you need. You don't even need an oxygen absorber. And by the way, between beans and rice have all the essential proteins you need. That's it. But they do not have all the essential lipids you need. And that's why I always think having like some canned meats is an excellent addition. Between those three, it'll keep you going for the rest of your life. And don't forget the pets. Yeah, make sure you stockpile lots of them. Oh, wait, they mean pet food. Yeah, of course. I, same thing, dry pet food is not the best to store. I don't know, maybe a couple years out of it, it will kind of turn rancid. There's fats in there. But canned pet food, as long as the can's intact, will last indefinitely as well. Cleaning supplies, for sure. In fact, bleach is one of the best things to stockpile. It will break down a year or so. There is a shelf life on it. But if you're looking for other cleaning supplies, rubbing alcohol is great. Not to mention if you wanted to simply buy like liquor, you know, the 70 proof liquor, really good. Basic medical supplies, for sure. Obviously, everybody can use band-aids, but I think you should go way beyond basic medical supplies. 
And that's one of the things I really talk about and specialize in. We're going to see a lot more videos about medical coming up soon. But you need to have everything from gauze pads to Israeli dressings to tourniquets. And the list literally could be huge for this. Uh, I'm going to link below. If you go to our website, you can actually purchase a medical checklist of things you might want to get. Or you can actually buy it. And it's only like two bucks, I think. You know, it helps us out a little bit, you know, a little bit for you too, as far as, uh, you know, keeping everything in order. But you can actually buy our entire pack you know, for $12, it talks about all different kinds of checklists of things to buy. But anyways, that's in our store on our website. Plenty of soap. And I love the fact that they're picturing here bar soap. I am a big, big proponent for buying a lot of bar soap, a lot of bar soap. I mean, obviously other soaps too, like liquid soaps and stuff work great. I'm not saying they don't, but bar soap alone can do a lot of things for you. And so we stockpile bar after bar after bar, lots of that stuff. Next up, soups. Nice. It goes along with the canned food. Canned meats, canned veggies and fruits too, by the way, but canned soups are great. A lot of people complain there's too much sodium, but just to let you know, salts, we have to have them. They're electrolytes. They're good for us. And people somehow in their mind think you can't have too much salt. I mean, eating salt off a spoon is probably not the best idea, but you can have a lot of salt, by the way. Just make sure you continuously drink to basically complement that salt. But soups are great. I like soups, especially if I'm not feeling that well. Soups are A plus in my opinion. Stockpiled prescriptions. Talk with their physician, see if you can actually get some extras or lots of over-the-counter stuff too. Sugar, salt, and pepper. And salt, salt, salt. I cannot stress, get lots of salt. It's not just food, medical purposes, other purposes too. And when they say sugar and pepper, I'm gonna tell you just spices. Make sure you have a lot of spices. You wanna make sure your food tastes good to increase morale. And finally, personal hygiene items, for sure. You wanna make sure you smell nice during the apocalypse. Okay, it's more than simply just smelling good, but it keeps you healthy. You wanna make sure that, I mean, your skin does have natural flora, which is good for you, but if you do start getting a lot of bacteria and stuff on you and be able to wash it off once in a while, it can actually decrease your health. So there you go, a whole bunch of things to look at. I like the article, some stuff to be able to keep in mind. What would you add to the list? Because when we talk about stockpiling, we wanna be ready for all possibilities, all contingencies. Put it in the comments below. I'd like to see what you think about that. And as always, everybody, thanks so much for watching.